right. All right, so we are live recording. You got the AirPod in? Are you recording? Welcome yeah. back. You look beautiful tonight, just want to say. Thank you. Should make that point. Jen is wearing, let's talk about what Jen's wearing, because you can't see. There is a uh, there is a clothing manufacturer out of Silva, North Carolina, called Hometown Hollers, and they make cool shirts. She's wearing a shirt. It is how, what color yellow would you say that shirt is? Golden yellow. Golden. Almost like a sunflower yellow. Golden, almost sunflower yellow shirt, and it says "Essential Worker" on it, That's and it, it but it, it's a B. Um, and a flower. So it's a pollinator. Pollinators are essential workers. In reference to apiculture. In reference to apiculture, which is the um, technical term for beekeeping. Or maybe just bee preservation. Um, so Jen has a pretty interesting collection of t-shirts. That are bought by my husband. <laughs> that David I mean. buys me witty t-shirts and I I, I make him happy by wearing them. I like them too. That so. I buy for her. Yes, thank mm. you, David. You're welcome. And uh, Jen's also growing her hair out, and that's getting prettier and prettier every day. Thank you. It's a lot darker than I expected it to be. Mm. It's a lot darker than I expected it to be, but that's not a bad thing necessarily. All good things. New season. Yeah. Shaking it up. Uh, so I cut my hair last night. Jen helped me do that. That's always interesting. I um I cut it pretty short, and I was kind of worried that. Uh, I was gonna look mean. Just said I didn't look mean. No. So, no worries there. So this is our number six podcast. Um, Analysis. And it is. We are. Um, a lot has happened since January first. <laughs> I just want to say. A lot has happened, but let's not focus too much on the on the time. Um, a lot has happened in the world. A lot has happened. Um, in our lives, we had some friends move, move, move home. We had some really good friends move home who, who we will miss very much. Um, some friends from Slovakia who were here for three years. Um, and they went home recently, which is wonderful for them. It was time. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's never fun to see, to see friends move away. On the bright side, we have now inherited a house in Slovakia because mm-hmm. our dear friends are like, please come stay with us, and we will. Yeah, we had the, we had the pleasure of hosting these friends at our house um, for a number of days back last fall. Well, they were in between living situations, so we got the pleasure of doing that, which was really cool. And look, we did not have a large house, <laughs> and there were 13 people living in our house for about 10 days. With one bathroom. With one bathroom. But we did it, and we're still friends. We did it, and it was <clears throat> and it was really fun overall. Big, giant meals with lots of people at one table speaking several languages. It felt like YWAM. Yeah, it felt like we were. We both said that. <laughs> we were back in YWAM. Um, multicultural. Um, I, uh, we got gifted a an auto harp recently. Yes. Thanks, Aunt Brenda. Thanks, Aunt B. Aunt Brenda for the auto harp. Love it. Yeah. Um, I was playing it recently. Miriam really likes it. Miriam likes to sneak off somewhere and play it. Um, it's like her own kind of private thing. <clears throat> she might end up being our musician. We'll see. And then what's going on? Well, something in the, the last three three months or so, we became Ultimate Outsiders exactly like two years almost. That's true. To the day of two years today. of starting um, our journey to all 47 state parks. So to become an Ultimate Outsider, we've mentioned this in a video, but to become an Ultimate Outsider, you simply visit all 47 of the state parks in South Carolina. Each state park has a unique stamp that you get that you have to find. Usually they're, they're at the... Um, uh, kiosks, or you can ask um, a park ranger at the office desk if the office is open and stuff like that. Or some you just have to, you know, go find where the stamp is. It's like a scavenger hunt. Um, but anyway, once you fill the book, you turn it back into uh, any of the park rangers or any of the state parks, and you fill out a form, page 86 and 87, in your booklet. 
and turn that in and you get um, a legit certificate saying that you're an Ultimate uh-huh. Outsider and you get a free Ultimate Outsider t-shirt. Very cool t-shirt. You pick the color. <laughs> it's very cool. And a, and a sticker for your car. And, and yeah, stickers for your car. And I think they gave us some extra stickers for our kids. And so we are very grateful. And so we stuck them on them. And yeah, oh yeah, we love stickers. If you see our van, we, we have a lot of stickers on our van. But, um, also, let me just say, did you know so we have a YouTube channel? Team Carter Family Adventures, right? Yes, Team Carter Family Adventures. There's a link somewhere. I don't know if we can get it in the description or not. We'll figure it out. There's, there's going to be a link somewhere. And you can also look us up on Facebook. If YouTube isn't your jam, you can look us up on Facebook at mm-hmm. Team Carter Family Adventures on Facebook. And we have a blog that we need that, that, that as well that I believe has some Team Carter dot team. Team Carter dot T E A M. And then we're also on Instagram if you like social media and the metaverse. Um Team Carter Family Adventures. Yeah. So so if you haven't gathered at this point, we are Team Carter because we are the Carter family and we are a family that likes to go on adventures. Uh And you can come too. Yep, so we're doing fun things. We've been to all 47 South Carolina state parks. Um, this year, our kids are really big into Cub Scouts right now. Um, well, two of our kids, because our, our youngest is not old enough. But And so I think this year we're going to do a bunch of Cub Scout stuff, which is a ton of fun. I think Honestly, I think I have as much, if not more fun, than they do doing stuff with Cub Scouts. So... Um, we got a big camp out coming up at the end of the month at, a, at, at Kings Mountain State Park. Um, we join because we like camping and hiking, but they actually do a lot more than just camping and hiking. Although I will say camping <clears throat> and, you know, outdoor activities, they do really well. Mrs. So like, right. the, Sorry, yeah. yeah, so the camp outs are done extremely Top well. Top notch. Best ever. Um, um Yep, so that is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been a it's been a season of transition. I think we can say that no, season of transition, not so much for us, but for people around us. Um, some things are things are wrapping up. The co op that the kids go to that's that's not gonna not gonna happen again next year because some folks are moving out of town. Some other good friends are moving. We had our Slovakian friends move. Um, things are just kind of wrapping up. So maybe this. Um, I feel like maybe the seasonality effect is, of life is coming into coming into play. Um, but but again, for other people, not not so much for us. We're, we're still doing pretty much, um, you know, what we're doing. Um, and maybe this is unique for us because we have moved a lot in our almost twelve years of marriage. We moved a lot, so. We have moved quite a bit. Maybe this is our time to just be grounded for a little while. And and just to get planted. Yeah. To grow roots, grow deep. As they say. Grow wide. Um, which would be a nice change. Which would be a nice change for us. Yeah, so those are kind of the, that's basically the update um, for what's going on with us. In case anybody out there was like, where have those guys been? Ah, people don't worry about minutes. that. But So let's talk about this. <laughs> let's talk about top five state parks in South Carolina. I know this is what you guys really want to hear about. I know this is what's just burning on your mind to hear us talk about. Top five state parks. And this is actually harder to do than you would think because there are 47 of them. 47. And I'm not going to rank them in order from number one to 47 because that would take way too much time. But um, it's a different, it's a, uh, that might be a YouTube video. So we're going to do a collective Team Carter State Park Awards because I'm not going to rank them like in okay. the top five, but they're, they're special for different reasons. All right. So, so most picturesque park. Most picturesque? Okay. Out of the 47 state parks, the most picturesque state park. State park of them all would go to I'm going to go with Hunting Island State Park for most picturesque because because it has the lighthouse mm. and it has the famous tree um, there was an astrophotography photo taken um, in front of well, with this tree in the background 
and then where the Dragon SpaceX capsules or boosters was re-entering the atmosphere. And so it looks like this giant comet streaking across the sky, a well-lit night sky, with this dead tree. It's just an incredible photo. Um, as well as the lighthouse that, I think it, it's closed currently, but normally you can walk up in it and take really good photos from there. So, and a, a sunrise on top of a lighthouse is just an incredible thing. And the state park of Hunting Island State Park is an actual island mm -hmm. of Hunting Island. So you're kind of like on this, you know, it felt like, you know, deserted island kind of mm -hmm. with maritime forests grown up. And so you really do feel like you're stepping back in time yeah. on a pirate beach or something, you know, yeah, and it's very, cool. it's very cool. And you're out there, you know. Most picturesque Hunting Island State Park. Hunting is Island. Good job. All right. So. What's the next category? Um, okay, Team Carter's Best Walk in the Woods Award, I think, is going to go to... Wait, 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 wait. Jones best, Gap. Best Walk in the Woods. Oh, Jones Gap. Jones Gap, Gap State Park in um, Marietta, Gap. South Carolina. Yeah. You, you in Greenville that. County. Yeah, that Greenville. Off of Highway 11. Turn at the F Mart and just keep on going. And it's just fabulous. If you've never been to Jones Gap... To, okay, I'm going to challenge you right now. If you right have now. A, if you have a friend that says, I absolutely hate nature, I don't understand why you people like nature, take them to Jones Gap State Park and watch them change their tune. Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. We went... Last time we went was in the summer. <clears throat> Everything was you know, leafed out and green and pretty. Um, you know, good views amazing mountain views, cool mountain brooks and streams. There's a really neat uh, bridge over a, over a battling brook. Um, there's no, the only overnight accommodations are rustic tent spots. Um, so there's no cabins necessarily, no RV spot, but that's okay. It's one of the older state parks. Um, so, and even if you just want to walk through it, like take a stroll through the park, you're like, I don't want to camp. Camping's not for me. I just want to see it. Like, it is well worth your time. Jones Cap State Park. Best the, park in the woods. In the Mountain Bridge Wilderness area of South Carolina. There's a lot to do up there. And, and honestly, there's probably three or four different. You could spend probably a week up there just visiting different stuff to do. But. Oh, sure. All right. What's the next category? Um, <laughs> the next category would be the... Um, Best overall state park if you want to bring your kids. Best, best. Can we change family the family friendly a bit? state park for, for a weekend trip? For what kind of a duration oh. trip? We're talking about? Best state park for kids. Best state park with kids. Uh, okay, let's let's not necessarily say for hiking, but the best state park for like camping with kids, family hangout with kids. Yes, where would you want to go? I I know where I would go. Well, let me think. Let me think. Best one for kids. If you, you're stay not for a day trip now, but you're staying overnight. Yeah. With children, I'm gonna go Oconee State Park. Oconee, that's what I was gonna say. We don't have these written down in front of us. We're, no, we're literally just, just we're just freestyling it. Freestyling. <laughs> we're freestyling it. Well, Oconee and, State Park. And the reason I asked if you're gonna stay overnight. Um, if, you, if you're going to stay overnight, it's Oconee because Oconee has, um, has, Tell them what they got. has cabins built in the thirties by the civilian conservation Corps, and not many state parks in South Carolina have those. They're just so rustic and so cool that you just got to stay in them. They also have putt putt. Um, Barn dances on Friday they're, nights. They're, they're square dancing on Friday nights. Um, very, very walkable trails, really nice trail system. There's a big lake. Um, it's a good, it's a really good weekend with kids. Really good weekend with kids. Especially if you've never really, like, you're like, rustic camping's not really my thing. I'd really like to do some car camping where my car is right there where I'm at. Uh -huh. Whether I'm in a camper or in a tent or whatever, my stuff's right there. It is very nice. And, and the town of Wahala is just right down the road. Uh, it's a really cute little town. Several stores. Um, there's what water rafting not too far away either. Stump House Tunnel. Stump House Tunnel. Um, Stump House Tunnel Mountain Park. Is the Queen of Falls if you like waterfalls? It's all right there. Falls. Yeah, there's 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 a lot to do up there. Mm -hmm. Oconee. Well Oconee done. Good one. Oconee. If if somebody was going to ask me when should I go, I would recommend Oconee in the fall. 
a nice fall trip to Oconee yeah. would be really nice. Would be really you would really get a kick out of that. And also, if if um if you're looking into some more strenuous hiking, um, the Foothills Trail also well it leaves one of the trailheads is at Oconee State Park. So you could you could hike the seventy seven mile trail. Yep, the Foothills Trail is a seventy seven mile trail from Oconee State Park and Table Rock State Park. It it more or less parallels Highway Eleven up there. Um, if that's your jam, we've done a part of it, and we want to do the whole thing eventually. It's one of our goals as a family. But if you're into if you're into just the right amount of suffering, um, that's what that is. Okay. All right, what's the next category? Next category. Um. Okay. The the best, um, let's go with surprise. I don't want to say the underdog, but like... When you want to say surprise or best hidden gem, what do you think? Mm, vocabulary. Let's go with the best hidden gem. A state park that you wouldn't necessarily say that you had it in your mind before going, you're like, this is going to be great. And then when you got there, you were like, oh, this is amazing. I never even knew this was here. You know, what? what's... All right, what's yours? You go first. Oh, okay. Um... I think ours is going to be different on this one. Okay. Um, I have two that I had that reaction with, and they're in different parts of the state, so I guess it's a tiebreaker for me. Between Hamilton Branch State Park, which is in Plum Branch, South Carolina, in McCormick County, um, because I didn't know anything about it, didn't know where we were. We were driving along, and the scenery was really pretty, and then, you know, it's all it's all on um, the lake. Whatever lake is over there, I can't think of it at the moment. Like Thurman. Right? Yeah, I think it is like Thurman. Yeah, like Thurman, I believe. Um, but it was just really pretty, and it was very family-friendly, and it just seemed like a place where, if I'm ever in Plum, uh, that Plum, town again, Plum, Plum, Branch. Plum, Plum Branch, thank you, Plum Branch, South Carolina, and I'm on my way to somewhere else, I would stop at Hamilton Branch and camp there. Right, so what was the other one? Um, the other one was um, Musgrove Mill. In Musgrove Mill is better than Plum. Really? For different than, reasons. Yeah, Musgrove Mill. For different is, reasons. Is really okay, good. why did you like Musgrove Mill? Because I really like that one well, as well. There was a lot to do and see. It, it almost had a um, mm-hmm. historic reenactment vibe at Musgrove Mill. And, which is in Clinton, South Carolina, on the Inuri River. On the Inuri River, there's a nice, really nice trail by the river. Um, it had almost like a Revolutionary War reenactment kind of a kind of a vibe. Um, it was just really nice. It was really well maintained. There was lots of green space. The trails were really nice. And sandy walking <clears> trails <throat> along yeah. along the river, so it was very easy yeah. to walk. Very walkable. It was really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite hidden gem. Now, I'm, I'm... It's a three-way tie now. I am hesitant to, to even share this because I feel like this is my personal favorite. Well, then this is, this is a separate category then. Um, what separate category would you give this? Because this is our, this is our, our favorite. Story. Okay. 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 It's our All favorite. Right. I, so I won't go there. I won't go there yet. So hidden gem for me, Musgrove Mill. Okay. Hidden gem, Musgrove Mill. Go be surprised. You will not be disappointed. Not to mention, go check out some of the, the other thing, I'm going to take a pause here. The, the, the other thing that you discover by, that we've discovered by doing this is how just how many cool little hidden towns there are in South Carolina. Have you ever been to Abbeville? How cute is Abbeville? If you have not, I'm telling you, you're missing out. Same for Newberry. Great Falls. Same for Clinton. Same for Great Falls. Hemingway. You, you are missing out if you don't go to these places. That's That's been just as cool as going to state parks, seeing the little towns that the state parks are in. The Lee State Park, getting right to Bishopville, seeing everything to do with the Lizard Man. Which is a whole nother, whole nother. We do a whole nother podcast from him. Separate podcast. I right, was next category. Go. Um. Okay. So we've done most picturesque. We've done best walk in the woods. We've done best with kids. Best with kids. Best hidden gem. Best hidden gem. Um. That's one more category we could throw out. Um. You can tell we put a lot of thought into the Team Carter State Park Awards. Um. Let's see. What's your favorite? Um. Let's go. I was gonna say best weekend getaway, but that might not. That's kind of the best thing with kids. Um, let's go best all around. Let's just wrap it because that, that's four. We'll do best all around. This is our personal favorites. Our personal favorite. This is not necessarily based on amenities. This is not necessarily based on anything, but just because I like it. 
So if you disagree with me, I don't really care. Um, my personal favorite is drum roll. Lance Ford Canal State Park. Mm. That's my favorite one. And if and if the kids were awake in here, they'd say, "Oh, no, not Lance Ford." Because we go there every weekend. No, we if don't. not every weekend, we don't go close there every to it. We don't go there every weekend. It's probably once a month. Um, <clears throat> it's it, there's a couple reasons why I like it. I I grew up on the road leading out to Lance Ford Canal State Park. It's in Chester County. If you've never heard of it, don't be surprised. Not many people have. It's in Chester County, um, which is up not far from where we live in Rock Hill. And it is the site of an old, it's a, it's a legitimate canal and lock system. And, and the ruins still exist. They're still there. It was a diversion dam um, by which large, large uh, boats, barges used to move um, down the Catawba River from 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 north to south and uh taking taking goods for the most part cotton bales and carrying that stuff down the river and the lock system still exists it's still still the big giant stone lock system is still there the canal is still there um <clears throat> there, there's a cabin there there's a playground there's a canoe landing boat landing right on the river so you drive way back in the woods and you follow the, the roads down, 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 and you get right to the riverside. You park. There's a cabin with a big front porch, a lot of rocking chairs on it that sits that overlooks directly over the river. Um <clears throat> in a particularly wide spot on the Catawba. There's about a about a mile and a half, maybe two mile round trip um trail that you can take that that uh goes by the lock system. Um, as well the other <clears throat> pretty unique thing that draws lots of visitors actually is this is one of the few places and literally in the world um, where there is a there's a large concentration of, of, uh, of spider lilies i would encourage you to google these things lanceford canal spider lilies they bloom june july or, I think it's like, it's early like a, summer yeah early summer like late may early june and you just hope that the river hasn't like Got too high and washed them all. Wash but it's it's these beautiful white flowers. But it's it's one of the few places on earth where you where you can actually see that many of the spider lilies in bloom. So it's 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 worth checking out for sure. Um, if you go in June, there can be a lot of people there. Now I was hesitant to share about this one because this is one of my personal favorites, and I would prefer that nobody else go and just let me go. Y'all don't you know it could stay under the radar as far as I'm concerned. And I'll just go and enjoy it, and nobody else can go. And I'm fine with that. Um, <clears throat> but we 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 have about eleven listeners, so I'm not too concerned about it. But <laughs> so that's my y'all y'all won't tell. So that's my all around favorite. Jen, what's yours? Um, I'm gonna also throw out another category. People want to know which yeah, what's your all around favorite. What's your all around favorite though? Before we jump categories, are we? Yeah, what's your all around favorite? Oh, okay. we can't just jump categories. Well, yet. you you shared so much about our favorite state park. Was that your favorite? That one was too? my favorite. That was I oh, that's was, Jim's favorite too. I was agreeing with you that that oh, was our favorite. Oh, I didn't know that was your favorite. Yeah, well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so new category because we just I mean I was totally on board with that. I have two categories actually. Um, one category is the best beach award. Because there are several South Carolina beaches, and That's everybody true. and everybody wants to know what's the best <clears throat> state park because there are like um, several of them, and we've already mentioned Huntington Island, so that already got uh -huh. a category. But so that's not in the running for best beach. I would say Myrtle Beach State Park. Myrtle Beach State Park. It's hard to beat Myrtle Beach. Come on, y'all knew which one it was going to be. Who it's, knew? It's your grandma's. It's Myrtle Beach. beach. It's wonderful. It's Myrtle Beach. Uh, there's no cabins, but that's okay. There are lots of RV spots. Um, it's a good you know, if you're at Myrtle Beach and you just need a little bit of a break from the Myrtle Beach scene. Um, head up to the state park. There's a pier. There's a long stretch of beach to walk on. There's a nature center there's with an aquarium center. and a herpetarium that's free with your park admission. Now, Jen, for those who don't speak herpetofauna, what is a herpetarium? Um, basically reptiles and amphibians. So snakes, turtles, lizards. Uh -huh. All that cool stuff. Yeah. So. Myrtle Beach State Park, best mm -hmm. beach. Mm -hmm. Best beach. Um, 
And let's throw out an honorable mention. Some honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. mentions. Um, best day trip. Charlestown Landing. Charlestown Landing. Charlestown yeah. Landing. Because if you're in That's the true. Charleston area, um, for the park admission that you're going to pay, um, it's totally worth it. Because if they've got so much history, mm-hmm. there's so much to do there at Charleston Landing. They have I wanted to talk about Charleston Landing. Yeah. I know. They, well, there's so much to do in Charleston, period. But especially if you have children, Charlestown Landing has... Um, uh, it's a living history trail that leads to um, the um, adventure like boat that you get to check out. Um, it's got beautiful gardens with magnolia trees. It's got, um, let's see, the Legree Waring House is there. Um, they've got, a, yeah, the zoo. And they've got a living history museum. So, I mean, all of that combined into... You know, one day trip. I mean, I'd say that you could spend all day out there easily. Trust me, it's a good day trip. That beats my best day trip. Okay, what was I was going to say, I was going to say Sesquicentennial State Park. Oh, that's a good one too. Sesquicentennial. Now, you got to say that five times fast. So, whenever you're listening to this, I want you to say Sesquicentennial State Park is um, it's in Columbia, on the north side of Columbia. It has a splash pad. There's a ton of uh, play space and green space for. For, for kids to run around. Splash pad does tend to get a little crowded, but not the end of the world. Um, my my best day trip is sesquicentennial. And lots of biking and walking trails. Yep, it's flat. Yeah. It's flat. And Columbia's pretty flat. Welcome to Sand Hills. It's nice. Um, um, all right. Is there any other honorable mentions that we want to make? Do we want to do the worst one? No. Do no, we don't? no because let's do the worst. No, no, no. Let's because that's not very honoring to anybody. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do the worst. Let's do the worst. We don't want to call it out people. It's just state parks. Worst state park. Let's not say worst state park. Uh, one that needs the most work. One. Let's, okay, <laughs> so we're going to call this category the state park that may need a hug. No, let's just be brutal. Let's just say the worst. Worst state park. Ready? David's a blunt person, so I'm going to let you say it. <laughs> Even though I think I would agree with you that it's what is it? Let's say it on three. Ready? One, One two, two, three. Aiken, Aiken State Park. <laughs> Aiken was rough. Um, I'm not really sure why. There just wasn't much there. There just wasn't much there. Uh, it was like a a really tiny pond and a couple of parking areas, and there was a there was a ranger station. You know, actually, I think Aiken might be tied or very closely followed by Goodale State Park for not being very – because Goodale had even less than Aiken State Park, honestly. But Goodale did have the big giant lake. Now, to be fair, to be fair, I'm going to add an asterisk to this conversation. We do not own our own personal kayaks or canoes. And I know that, you know – we have family members that have canoes, and they have taken their canoes out there to Cadeal State Park. And um, what is the river? Is it the Edisto River in Aiken? What is it? Not the Edisto. The, what river is that? Is so, that State Park or is that? Somebody help me out. Whatever, we're confusing two different state parks. Whatever the There wasn't the black much water. happening. That was a good deal. That had the black, was black it? Water swamp. Okay. There wasn't much happening at Aiken, and there were lots of sand mats. And that definitely affects you. And we did not stay long. Experience. We did not stay long. But perhaps if you could get through the sand gnats and you were a person who likes canoeing <laughs> through swamps and that's your jam, maybe it's an amazing time. Jedi. Maybe maybe we're missing out on a truly incredible experience. Um, if you want to change your minds, please let us know. So Jen and I went on a camping trip to the to the Okie Pinocchio <laughs> Swamp one time in Georgia. Lord. Also known as the Okie Pokey. And there were <laughs> so Jen and I apparently don't do well on a kayak together because she doesn't want to listen to me. She wants to paddle her, her own kayak and you gotta to work together in a kayak. If you've ever been two in a two person kayak. Our marriage is <laughs> defined as before No, this is not true. <laughs> this is not true. The kayaking, tandem kayaking experience and after. Well I, and we, and I have to explain as well that there were and this is not an exaggeration, probably 10,000 alligators around us at all times um, during so this experience. don't tip the boat over because so the alligators will eat you. you fall in the water, you are going to get eaten um, in the Okie Finoki Swamp. 
So just keep that in mind if you go there ever. Um, so that was our swamp experience. Uh, I, I know swamps are, are vital ecological um, systems, environments. I know they act as, as filters and soak up flood water, um, but I, I personally will stay away from them. Um, so that was my assessment of, of that. All right, that is our state park rundown. We'll do, we'll do more about that um, coming up. That's probably about enough for now. Um, anything else you want to add? If you haven't gotten your state parks pass, we're not sponsored or affiliated by them in any way, shape, or form. But if you haven't bought your $99 annual pass, it is well worth it's it. It's so worth it, yeah. Um, our family of five, if we just go visit like two or three state parks in, out of the 47, we've made our money back. Yeah, there's discounts for, for, for overnight stays if you're if you're a state park pass holder. Different festivals. Different festivals, different events that they have going on. Yeah, it's well worth it. So if you were on the fence about buying that, I would say go for it and just buy it because it's so worth it. You can't go wrong. Worst case scenario, you, if you buy it and then you'll feel guilty, so, so you'll have to go to a state park, which mm-hmm. means it might be even more fun. Or buy one for a friend. Buy one for a friend. Yeah, so. All right, that's Team Carter Family Adventures signing off for this evening. Love y'all.